No. Nope. Not even that. What the hell is that? No. Hi everyone, welcome to Krabby's top 5 tips for building a breeding hatchery. The hatcheries in the intro will work perfectly if all you want to do is hatch one or two wyvern eggs. However, I see many examples of hatcheries on my server or even in other YouTube videos that really won't work if you are a breeder. If you're all about breeding super dinos or you want to do some breeding for an endgame boss fight, you will need a proper hatchery. Let's be frank about what breeders really need, which is a space to murder thousands of baby dinosaurs. So with that, let's get started. Tip number one is to build it in metal. In particular, the foundations and the first one or two layers of walls. For the reason why I recommend metal, let's take a look at one of the example hatcheries. And this is one of the initial hatcheries that I built in Ark. It's made of stone and has a ring of air conditioner units. So I've hatched a bunch of eggs and these guys don't have the stats I want. So I need to take care of some business. So after using the shotgun and the sword, if you inspect the structures, you'll notice that there's quite a bit of damage to the air conditioner, to the fridge and to the stone foundation. If you build your hatchery out of stone, you are going to be constantly needing to repair your foundations and walls, and that gets tiring really quickly. Metal is resistant to this damage, so you won't run into this issue. Tip number two is to build a subfloor. And by this, I mean placing all of your electrical and air conditioning components on a layer on the ground and then covering it with a layer of metal ceiling. This will stop all of your electrical and air conditioning units from getting damaged and you won't need to constantly repair them. Tip number three is don't forget about Dimetriodons. These guys are portable air conditioner units. They can be picked up by an Argentavis, so pretty easy to grab and trap. They do have a fast torpor drop, so make sure you have lots of narcotics. If you level up their melee, it increases their range as an air conditioning unit. The reason I recommend them is they make way less noise than air conditioning units, and also they're way less resources to craft, especially if you're early game and don't even have a fabricator yet. Just place them in your subfloor as you would the air conditioning units, level up their melee and you're good to go. So here you can see I've covered up my air conditioning units, I've placed down my Allosaurus eggs and they're hatching really nicely on top of the ceilings. When the eggs have hatched and you need to take care of business, you'll notice that the electrical and the structures are not damaged, they're all safe. Tip number four is to make sure that you keep your hatchery and your breeding area separate from each other. On my Crystal Isles base, I have my hatchery in the workshop and I have a separate breeding area for dinosaurs. The reason for this is you don't want baby dinosaurs hatching with your breeders and then having to damage your breeders while you're taking care of the unwanted babies. It also makes it really difficult to pick up new eggs if you have babies that have already hatched as soon as they were laid. Some people combat this by having the dinosaurs up really high and having an egg drop then hatch system. But my advice overall is just to make sure that they are separate. So tip five is to include a space where you can have a wyvern, in particular a lightning wyvern. The reason for this is that if you want to get really efficient at murdering all of your baby dinosaurs, the easiest way to do this is to have a lightning wyvern take care of them. So hopefully you can incorporate these tips into your next design. Let's take a look at some hatchery designs on my server. Here's Mr. Krabs. It's one of the kind of Sven P roundhouses, but he's adapted it to be a hatchery. He has the metal flooring and 
he has Dimitrodons underneath. This is one of my favourite and most creative uses for a hatchery space. These guys have stairs in the outer of their base and you can see at the top of the stairs they've turned it into a hatchery. And when you check out underneath you can see you have air conditioners supported by ceilings, floors and pillars with the electrical units underneath. This is a really creative and smart use of space. I think Feisty and Bon have done a wonderful job here. Here is my hatchery on Ragnarok. It's small, but it's still kind of cute. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have found it helpful. If you have, please consider giving it a like or subscribing to the channel. And also let me know in the comments or on Twitter, share a picture with me of a hatchery you've designed using these tips. Thank you. Bye.